Hey, everybody, it is December 7th. We're going to dive into interest rates today and also give you a look back of about a year. Okay, so let's get into it. And before we do, this is for informational purposes only, not financial advice. So where is the 30-year fix today? December 7th, we see at 5.92 for the 30-year, and the 15-year is at 5.375. The 30-year FHA, 5.75, and the 30-year VA, 5.75. And if you've been with us for a while, you've noticed that these rates have really come down, and you've been looking at interest rates over the, especially the last month. So um, be sure to subscribe, but, uh, you know, because we, we do this, we do this update once a week, at least once a week, and... Keep in mind that these scenarios are based off of uh, right here for conventional FHA and VA loans, very typical scenarios that have no points, right? no extra fees for yeah. those. And we want to show where we've been this last year. We're almost at the end of December, or sorry, we're almost at the end of the year. And just looking back, where were we? Well, you can see where we were about 3%. Uh, and this is where all the all the increase of interest rates has, has occurred over the last 12 months. Can you imagine if we had this back in December? <laughs> yeah. I mean, we would have borrowers calling us for refis. Well, I think I'm going to wait. You know, it, well, I think right now is a good time to refi. Oh, you're just saying that because you're in the mortgage business. Yeah. I mean, if you had a sheet like this, boy. Yeah, it'd be great. It'd be, this is what's going to happen in the next 12 months. Unbelievable. We, we would have thought we were crazy. Um but yeah, I mean, people thought that rates were going to go in the twos. Now, I think that we're going to go back into the twos someday. You know, mm -hmm. I think that that's going to happen again. Um, I think that once inflation's under control, the Fed peels back uh, their policy on that. I think that rates are going to be headed down. But again, it's going to take some time. Um, but we did see that high October 7th this year, 2022. Yeah, October 27th. Yeah, the rates were right there, about, right about 7% for that 30-year fixed. And right now... Like you see, we, we're in the high fives, um, depending on your scenario, maybe 6%. But the point is, from that high to today, we're about 1% lower. And I wanted to show everybody that what that does to the loan. I mean, if you were in October looking at a home and you were looking at, at a loan amount of $500,000, that payment on that $500,000 with 1% higher rate compared to today, would be equivalent to the payment of $560,000 today. So, it's, in other words, it's 60, today's lower rates, because today's rates are 1% lower than they were at the end of October, there's $60,000 of extra purchasing power. Right, and that's based off of a $500,000 loan. Yeah. So, you could have a $700,000 loan, and that number would even be bigger. You could also have a three hundred thousand dollar loan, and that number would be smaller. But the point is, is that your purchasing power goes up or down based upon the cost of money, which That's makes right. so much sense. Yeah, and if you're looking at homes today, you'll notice that price trends have been de uh, been declining. Um, we don't know if they're going to decline for much. I mean, it's a real the market right now for the buyers and sellers. There's not a lot of inventory out there. But the point is- We have is, a whole lot of sellers just doing this. Yeah, sellers don't well, want to- hey, I don't care what the interest rates are. We're not selling we're not unless selling. you pay this. Right, those sellers are in those 3% interest rates, not really going anywhere. So we don't see a lot of rising in, uh, inventory. But, the, but at the same time, you can get a better deal today than mm -hmm. you did a year ago. Um, and if you were looking in October or early November, you can get a bigger bang for your buck today. Right, right. And also, you know, mm -hmm. you know, buyers will, will call us. Um, you know, we, we tell people you can put yourself in a win-win position. Today, if you were to buy a house, you can get a house typically, if you have a willing seller, to get that price, you know, reduced. Okay? So you lock yourself into a reduced price for, for as long as you're in the house. Plus, when interest rates do come down, we don't know when, but when they do, we can always refi. So you're in that locked-in, lower-priced home and you get that that lower interest rate on that refi. That's right. Be sure to subscribe, comment, and like. We'll be back next week with another update. Take care, everybody. All right. Thanks, folks. Thank you for watching the Mortgage Brothers podcast. If you have any questions, email us at team at azmortgagebrothers.com. And if you like this content, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the Mortgage Brothers team.